So when you make jokes like that about, you know, about your deceased child or your cancer and the fact that your, Holocaust, your family are Holocaust yeah. survivors, your parents, right? Yeah. How does the family deal with it? How do well, they take it? I don't think my parents would find it funny about my son, but my son would have been the first one to laugh at it. Does it help you to laugh at it? Oh, absolutely. And I think that finding humor in, in the worst things is, you know, when you're in the hospital and, and your family and your, your, your friends come to see you, they don't know what to think. And I'll tell you what they think. They open the door and they're facing their own mortality. You, you represent exactly the thing that scares them the most. That's right. And I think if you find humor in it, then you let them off the hook emotionally and they can be themselves around you instead of walking on eggshells. Once my mom came in, she was, I could tell she was crying in the hallway. And I said, Mom, you just missed it. There was a guy in here that wanted to sell me a crotch wig. And a what? Crotch wig. A crotch wig. Yes. Yeah. They have them. They do? For yes, what purpose? Yes, they do. For your crotch. Because you lose all your hair and the head is okay. You know, women can, there's a double standard. You know, women can shave their... Guys think it's sexy. A 50-year-old man that's bald down there, and I lost a testicle. Um, not to cancer, my insurance is a weird copay, but um, <laughs> it just doesn't look good. It didn't yeah. even look like a penis anymore. It looked like a like a sad whistle. And um, so, and they have wigs. They have wigs for that. It, yeah. All right. Different styles. It's not just one. There's All like right. the executive, the adventurer, salt and pepper, the surfer. Is that know. a fact? Yes. I never heard it's this. It's called a Merkin. M-E-R-K-I-N. I didn't know you needed that, but okay. Now, didn't just, help. 